Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and join me once again here in Transport Fever 2 overlooking the magnificent city of Bristol. It does look rather impressive. I mean, it's only 1963. We'll see that in a moment for certain, but I think I remembered it right. And it's full of, well, modern day problems, as we know, like traffic congestion. I will, at some episodes, sometime soon, stop talking about this. But, uh, well, I, I'm going to do some things about it today. Um, and then hopefully we'll do something a little bit more exciting and dynamic and stuff maybe if i can get there anyway right so this is where we left off pretty much at the end of the last episode we're currently in november 1963 i've got a mere well four million give or take in the bank at the moment i have taken out seventy thousand of my 100 sorry 70 million of my 100 million possible loan and there's work i need to do and we see here <clears throat> this is something i spent some time in the previous episode trying to get right an example of why sometimes you want to own the roads because i had set this up this is the hicksgate roundabout between canesham out there and bristol here actually it is the other side of brislington to be honest it is more about here in reality but you know the, the map is you know a it's a representation of a imaginary Bristol, which is a bit like real, but quite a lot not real. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I put this little sort of country road in here. And I mentioned in the last episode, oh, it's a pity we can't have one-way country roads. And then, of course, someone who has played this game at least as long as I have, Construction Gamer, one of my YouTube creator buddies, uh, by all means, go check out his channel if you've not done that already. Again, another uh, great Transport Fever content creator, amongst other good stuff. And he said, if you've got highways, the, the, the slip road, that should give you a one-way country road type thing. And he's absolutely right. Which would, And then I can stop the town turning this country road into town road. I do not want it to do that. So... We should have highways here. Highways, there we are. And this looks slip roads. Tarmac, one-way country road. It says it, country road. <laughs> well, there you are. Uh, so, oh, by cut. Oh, okay. Right, we're going to do this again. Right. Okay, we'll do that. And can we put this slip road in here? What do you mean, no? What, what? Is there something special about slip roads that they can't go? Okay. So it'll build it there. What is its problem? Ah, right. Uh, does it need a certain type of angle, perhaps, before it will... Mm, it's not exactly the angle I want. Can, can I get a slightly better angle? Yeah, don't go down because I don't want that. That looks about right. It's a tiny looking bit of road, isn't it? Okay, we'll take you and run you all the way to there. That looks good. Right, and uh, I will want to own that. Now, because I've actually rebuilt the road, it won't own it. Also. Oh, it does! Oh, oh, a highway's different. Do you always own highways? Interesting. I don't know. Fascinating. Well, I find it fascinating anyway. Okay, just check that my line. Yep, yeah, the uh, Canesham line goes down that route. As we can see, we still have a lot of congestion. That's trams. Uh, I want buses. <laughs> there we are. We have a lot of congestion in the city centre which is impacting quite a few routes around here which go into wherever the heck it is i've lost it where's the bus station where's the oh come on you can't have lost the bus oh there's the bus station yeah there's there's a number of routes going up through here now i have been playing you may have noticed a lot of dwarf romantic recently and the mouse controls of that are quite well, they're a bit different to this, you know, in a way, and I'm, I'm still, I've still got that muscle memory 
uh, in my hand, so my mouse control may be a little bit erratic at the moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend some money. I dare say it's going to cost me more than four million and put some of those asymmetric bus lane roads in here, which should ease the traffic up. Now, you've seen me do this before, so I'll just do this as a time lapse kind of piece, which should be okay, I think. Right, yes. Okay, do I want to do that out here as well? I probably do, actually, coming into Bristol. Uh, there, actually, there are no bus lanes, bus routes, rather, uh, along that stretch of road. But if we made that two-lane... Is that a song? Oh, good question. I'm going to have to look that up. Two-lane. Definitely a song. Was it Steve Gibbons' band, or, am I, or was it older? Was, am I thinking Chuck Berry? I'm, I, or someone else entirely? Yeah. I'll work that out later. Let's not get too distracted. Uh, yeah, I think we'll we'll make that three lane. Right, uh, I will do that, and I'll be back with you on the other side of this uh, little sort of speed build kind of thing. Okay, so we've done a fair number of roads here in the centre of Bristol. Uh, the question then is, hopefully that will improve the traffic flow. Why, why do cars do that? Suddenly decide they need to turn in. Do they change destination or something? Is that what's going on? But hopefully that should make things a lot sweeter and easier. Do I want this to be Town Road? But, oh! Has that got a bus lane on it? The game has changed that, and that definitely had bus lanes on it. Ah. Right, uh, what type of road are you? You're probably the four lane. You're definitely not six lane. Uh, where are you? There. Okay. You do have bus lane, but you're not showing on the old cobbled streets. I don't like that. I like to know that there is a bus lane there. So we'll put the, the tarmac town road in with bus lane. Okay, don't necessarily want town road all the way out there, but there you are. That's what we've got. Cool, we'll come back and see that. Now, one other area of the sort of broader metropolis the the outlying areas many of them do have similar traffic problems uh, like we've got here good grief all the way through Farmington Cotterill into Stoke Gifford now there, there are no train lines that connect these towns really there's nothing in Iron Acton there's a, a, a line in Yate which connects Thornbury and Patchway and Bristol Park Way but nothing train-wise between these towns. So we could try doing that. And what I was thinking was perhaps, we've already got a cargo station here in, is that French? Is, I've called it Down End because it is sort of more Down Endy than it is French, eh? Uh, is like we did in Westbury on Trim. Yep, yeah. is add in some passenger platforms to that we could make it, could create a brand new passenger station. But I quite like having that there, to be honest. It saves building new stations. I, I, again, in reality, as people have noted in the various forums and, and Discord servers and Discord conversations and so on, is uh, cargo stations don't tend to mix with passenger stations very often. 
It's not the way we do things these days. Okay, so what I'm thinking I might do here is we will improve this road here, I think. We'll need to, and create a bus route between Frampton, Cottrell and Stoke Gifford. We don't, that, don't, no, it's not that we're after. Uh, we won't use that one either. We'll use this button here. Uh, yeah, we have, yeah, some limited loops and routes between in Frampton, Cottrell and Stoke Gifford and then on into... Bristol Centre, but we have nothing between these. And obviously these towns have grown a little bit since we put those first lines in. So I think that will be a good first step. So let's get some road in here. Again, I, we could probably just use our... Do we want to make it country road? We'll, we'll make it town road, I think. Uh, so this will get... We'll use asymmetric again. I'm assuming that's cheaper. Which would mean construction not possible. That's 10 grand. Yes, a little bit cheaper. So you're not possible. Why? Is that because of that crossing? Okay, let's uh, get rid of you. You. And you. Okay. And we'll just upgrade you. That's nice. Yep, that's the correct direction. I think two lanes going out from Frampton into Stoke Gifford. Can we draw that back over? No. Oh, because there's a bridge there. Oh, bother. Actually, could we get it underneath the... We can. If we're careful, we can get it underneath that bridge. So we could divert that road. Oh, okay, right. So we'll put you back in. And in a bit like that. Okay. You're a little bit unsightly, but okay, considering what's going on there, we will live with that and we'll actually upgrade you as well. It's nearly a million just to do that. Gosh. Which direction is the traffic going in? Have I got these on the right side? No, I haven't. That's better. Right. And we could join you up. Will you join with that? You will. Except you're all the wrong way around now. So we just need to upgrade you. Right click to switch you round. And that will do you as well, just for good measure. That's nice. Uh, shall we do these? We're going to take out pretty much half the town, which is... Okay. Oh, I, I'm, I do apologise for my poor mouse control at the moment. <laughs> I'll have to stop playing that other game. Um, uh, right there, there, and there. And you as well, perhaps. Yeah, we'll do you. Like so. Okay. Oops, we got a little bit. Um, not all of you. That's it. Just that little bit. Just shift right click. Does that little segment of road. Yeah, it's odd the way it connects and then sort of loses a bit of the road there. Uh, do we want this to be upgraded? Uh, we might as well while we're here. Oops, auto save. Be back in a second. My auto save appears to have done its business. So we will do that. And then we will just draw you to connect in like so. Except the other way around. Oh, when you... Ah, there's the way... There's... Uh, depending on the direction you drag it in, determines the orientation of the one-way system. Right, that's okay. Right, so where shall we put in our bus routes between these two lovely little towns? Right, so we're coming back from Kings Road. And we can stop there. That looks good. And you can then go up there to Church 
Road, which we will re... Do I need to rename that one? To make it more local specific? I don't know. So we will call this one Frampton to Stoke Gifford. Yes, I am shortening Frampton Cottrell and giving Stoke Gifford its full name, but... Well, yeah, there's, a, there's no logic to that at all. It's just a decision I made. Uh, do I have a bus depot anywhere near here? And the answer is going to be no. Really? No bus depots? Uh, there's the depots. That's, a, that's train depots down there, isn't it? Really? Good grief. Surely I've got... Oh, no, that, there they are. There's one. Yeah, you could work. You could work. Or I could put one up. No, we'll use this one here. Right, so what vehicles do we want to take out of here? What do we have? Uh, you go 43, which is a bit fast, but... Uh, you go 47. You only carry 10, though. You carry 14. Uh, Tusha carries 10 at 31. I'd like to go at least 37, I think. You got 40 and carry 21. You are very expensive. You carry 11. I'd like to carry more than that. I, I like this one. It's uh, I've got the, the taxi in, of course. What, why is there a difference between the taxis? No idea. Okay, um, yeah, so we'll take these. Uh, how many should we put in there? I think we might need quite a few. We'll put six on to get to start with. And you can be that lovely purpley colour. Which I think it's the colour of that line. You're not Iron Acton. Oh, it's a lot paler than that, isn't it? Is it that pale? Could be that pale. I really difficult to tell. Uh, you can go on there. Is the traffic easing at all around here? It's very difficult to judge. Oh, we're coming to the end of 1963. Well, of course, the, the, yes, the AI traffic only has the one lane still. Uh, so it's not going to make it any easier for those guys. Oh! Lots of funky new trains. Excellent. For 1964. How did we do in 1963? We made good grief. We made a profit. Wow. That's not too... Ooh, our boats were do, weren't doing so well. I really need to get back to my cargo routes, to be honest. And start sorting those out. Now, what I was thinking around here as well is actually adding in some train lines here to supplement those bus services and i was thinking we do actually have a spare platform here at bristol park way which was platform number four. Oh, i need to turn the uh, icons on don't i uh, there you go turn everything back on yeah, so number four, which is this one in here, which is actually linked to this route here from Yate. And I was thinking, a nice little train line, Iron Acton, Frampton Cottrell, into Parkway. Makes sense? I think it does. Not sure we could... If we put it round here, we might even be able to link it into Yate. There is no actual route between, there's no simple road route between Yate and these two towns, is there? Should we do that while we're here? Let's do that while we're here. Uh, get some streets, we want some country roads. Uh, we'll, we'll go reasonably fast, we won't worry about bus lanes. Can I simply do that? I can, it looks a little bit naff though, doesn't it? does look a bit naff. If I take you all the way back, can I put in just a little bit of a, a bridge? 
over there. Uh, oh, I can. I can. We don't want it to be entirely invisible, though. So... I don't want cobbles. Take the cobbles away. Uh, you guys... You're better. Don't really want a suspension bridge. Although, because you're so short, you don't actually show the, uh, the, the suspension arches. So that kind of works. Don't need such high barriers either. That will do, I think. Yep, that will do quite nicely. Uh, we don't need you to go up. Going down will do nicely. Well, that looks good. Yep, we'll take you. And we can connect you into there. And we'll run you. We don't need uh, a bridge there. Where should we run you to? We can run you to there. Uh, no, no bridge. We'll just make an embankment. And perhaps cutting off here to go there. That looks ugly. I do wish it would bend more naturally sometimes. Uh, that kind of works? Or do we want to... It'll be cheaper doing it that way, won't it? Yes. Oh, I could even do that. There you go. Lovely job. Right, so that gives AI passengers a route there, which they might take rather than clogging up some of the other main arteries. Like that one. Ugh. Okay. Right, let's get this these train stations in. I do have... How much money have I taken out? I've got 20 million to spare, which might buy me, which might buy me a train. So... We are going to put in a station. We're going to be coming out along here, somewhere in here. This looks like a good spot. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. Train station. A nice uh, British one. We're going with brown still. Uh, tracks two. Um, it's going to be again a local service so we don't need it to be too long too foot we, we could always make it longer can't we if need be yeah we'll leave it as uh, 160 I think uh, so what orientation do we want this something like that would work actually if I slip you in here That works a treat, doesn't it? Like so. And Iron Acton could be... I think I'd want you to be a little bit further from that station. If I put you there, that's the main road. We can get rid of that and do what we like with it. Uh, so if we put you actually along here somewhere, then we might be able to swing reasonably easily into Yates Station. That works for me. That works for me. Uh, so, for the train station. Swing you around here. Should we line you up a little bit better with the road? There you go. Oops. And you're in. Okay, so some tracks. We'll use high speed. Oh, I've made those electric, haven't I? Yes. Oh, bother. Can I configure you not to be electric? Uh, no, is, is, it, is it not done there? That's better. Good. 
None of that electric nonsense. Thank you so much. Uh, high speed, no catenaries. And we will run you. Where's me other station? Round there. Oh, that is a, oh, that's a bit of a tight turn, isn't it, actually? Okay, let's see how well this goes. Oh, we could... No, that, that might be alright. We're going... Okay. That looks... Oh, that's not too bad, is it? You get some nice speed up there, to be honest. Tight curve into Iron Acton, but yeah, that, those are the brakes, as it were. Okay, I'll bring you out. And round. And in. Right, now into Yate. What have we got coming in here? I think we have... What lines do we have coming in here? Yate to Thornbury. Oh, and the main Bristol Midland line. Okay. Do we want, I think, again, this is not realistic, but I think rather than get in the way of the high speed express Bristol Midland line, we'll put another platform on here I think yep that's what we will do we will configure you do we need another platform yes yes we will that will do nicely We will get you coming out from there. To go into there. Or there. Yep, we'll do it that way around. That's good. Bring you back up. To there. Okay, and we'll just uh, get a little bit of there. Sweet, and some signals. Right now, we do need to get this connected into Parkway. What have we got going on here? What do we have going on here? So the Bristol Midland comes out and it takes the slightly odd curve out of the station. So we're coming on this track here. Do we not have... Ah, right. Can we not make that better? I think we can. Right. Don't think I've done any other real damage there, apart from to the Bristol Midland line. Why, why are you doing that? Why are you taking that stupid curve? Why can you not stay there? Oh, there's something odd going on with this bit of track here, I think. Uh, there's something... Yeah, there is something very strange going on here. these curves. 
let's get this done properly, shall we? See if we can do that. So if you go up that way. And then you stick like that. That looks more rational. Okay, so we've got those two lined up. Right, now we need this line coming out of here. We could do. If we do that. To there and make that a double slip. Yes. Okay. Which means that either four or three can come out here and either take off this way through Patchway or come up here to Stoke Gifford. Well, I'll, no, we'll do it. I was just thinking of using the parallel tracks, the automated parallel tracks feature, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, do I want it to that side? I'll take it to that side. There you go. Run you out. There we go. And bring you to there. Okay, looks good. Uh, so, yeah, the express line in there has no problem with crossovers or switches or any sort of junction. So we'll just put uh, some signals in there. Uh, which one are you? You're going in that direction, so we'll put one there. Also there. And also there. Why have I got two sets of signals here? Ooh, proper old fashioned semaphore signals. Someone in one of the comments from a previous video did tell me because I'd forgotten what these wavy flappy signals were called. Thank you so much to whoever that was who <laughs> corrected, who reminded me. I'm going to pretend that I always knew. They're called semaphore signals. I did kind of know that, to be honest, but it's one of those things that I forget. Right, so coming into Patch uh, Parkway rather from Stoke Gifford, we're going to need a signal. Whoops, there. And we're going to need a signal coming out. So you've cleared that switch. Uh, we'll have, yeah, uh, uh, a couple here as well around Stoke Gifford. Okay, so uh, if we're going in from here, yeah, we've got the double slip there, which means we could cut to either three or four and coming out. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So let's get this line up and going. Don't want white. Thank you very much. Um, we could use a purpley one. Okay, so from Parkway to... Oh, it's not Stoke Gifford. It's Frampton Cottrell. You can't go back. I know you can't go back yet, but you will in a minute. To Iron Acton and to Yate and then back to Iron Acton back to Frampton Cottrell and you're still complaining oh okay why Bristol Parkway not platform platform two no if I put you on four it still doesn't like it. You can definitely get across there. That's not a problem. Ah, okay. Can you not come back in then for some reason? 
Uh, Frampton Cottrell, Iron Acton to Yate. What's the problem here? Why do you not like it? So I've got the signals in the wrong place. That's why. Oh, auto save. We'll get rid of that in a moment. Are you any happier? No. We're coming out of the eight. Can we get to that signal? Yes. Oh, you're happy now, are you? Okay, good. <laughs> so if I take that signal out again, you're still happy. I, whatever it was playing at, I do not know. But it's happy. Excellent. Right, so we have our new line, which is down here somewhere. There it is. And this will be... I'm not entirely convinced by this name. I may change it. We're going to call it Bristol Parkway. If I can spell Bristol correctly, that might help. Uh, via, via Iron Acton. Yeah, because I mean, it is it is to Yate, but it's not using the main line. So, do we have... I've asked this before, and I've usually come up wanting, do I have any depots anywhere around here which can get a train on that line? The answer is going to be no. We've got these depots here. Actually, you could... You could work, actually. Yes. Because it comes on this line, which should then be able to cut across. Ooh, let's try that. Okay, what trains do we have then? Uh, where, I've lost the depots again. I've lost the depots again. Where are they? <laughs> they are. Uh, that depot there. Do we have a good diesel multi-unit? Oh, we've still got these. And, oh, what do you carry? 42. So you are the three car with three engines, a four car with two engines. Okay, let's try that. Your, oh. I can afford one of you. If I actually, if I buy you, can I put you on that line? This is the Bristol Parkway via Iron Acton. It says it can do it. That is awesome. Right, let me borrow a bit more money so I can buy another one of those. Uh, there you are, manage that vehicle buy a, another one. There you go. And there he is setting off on, this is a green one as opposed to blue. Very nice. Actually this track here, I've used this line quite a bit actually to supply trains. Could be, could do with being dual tracked but yeah, we haven't done that yet. And besides which, I need to connect those stations up. Right, so bear with me a moment. I'll finish off connecting these stations up and then we will have a quick check that this route actually works. So here we are as our new train heads through Patchway into Bristol Parkway to start on its journey out to Frampton Cottrell, Iron Acton and to Yate and back again. I will leave you here, I think. Is as good a place as any to, to leave this episode. It was a bit longer than I expected, but hey, I think we've got something interesting done. We'll see how this helps out our um, suburban sprawl. I love these big junctions where they just sort of switch around the tracks and go through complex and busy stations. And Bristol Parkway, as you can see, is quite a busy station. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. You know, just click on the old thumbs up button. Just thinking, this is a very high view 
for that little diesel train, but maybe I'm sat on the top of the wagons and not actually in the driving cabin. Good, good, I've no idea. Anyway, thank you so much. If you've got anything to say, any hints, tips, corrections, criticisms even of what we're doing in the game, it'd be great to hear from you. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so just drop something into the comments box below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, then you could do that now. There goes my lovely gas power train. Uh, you yeah, just click on the old subscribe button and then you'll know, ooh, ugly bridge. I ought to fix that, perhaps. It doesn't look very safe. <laughs> so that way you'll know. Sorry, I just keep getting distracted. Uh, when the next of these will be uh, released, or any of my other Let's Play videos. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.